33 seconds for two logos. The Logo Sin, one of the most overused sins in all of their videos. And it is as unnecessary here as it is everywhere else. 33 seconds is not that long. And before you say that it's supposed to be a joke, jokes are supposed to be funny. Repetitious green light bulb of boring. Jeremy is apparently incredibly easily bored because he finds this nearly two second shot of a light bulb incredibly boring. Also, since he doesn't jump upon seeing the jigsaw mask thingy guy, I guess this guy didn't see the last movie? Oh, to be him for a day. Considering the situation he's already in, with the Iron Maiden, or Venus Flytrap as it's actually called, around his neck, he's trapped in a room he's unaware of, and he already screamed a bunch, I'm pretty sure this is past the point where he would have already jumped. How much blood will you shed to stay alive, Michael? The key is in Michael's eye socket, and he's been presented the easiest choice in this series so far. On pure adrenaline alone, this dude should be able to cut out the key and save himself. But this is Saw we're talking about here. Are you seriously saying that you think it's easy to cut your eyeball out? There is no way I need to explain why that's stupid. You've got nothing to complain about, dude. Not only are you possibly the stupidest Saw victim in history, you got well more than a minute to cut your stupid eyeball out. Do you seriously find it hard to believe that he just hesitated for too long? Also, I'll tell you right now, if this movie is expecting me to remember anything from the first Saw movie, then movie has vastly overestimated my investment. Who goes into a movie expecting to not have to remember a single thing from the previous film? Your mother gets to keep custody, I get to take you into custody. The guy that wrote this line was so proud of himself, he literally sucked his own dick right after. Sadly, he choked to death on his own ejaculate, which even the coroner noted was ironic and yet still somehow appropriate. As funny as that was, Jeremy is basically saying, this script is incredibly tightly written and that's bad. This guy smokes all the cigarettes. It's called characterization. Hey, Starship Troopers girl, still getting work. Good for you. Why is this a recurring thing with cinema sins? Sometimes they just sin the fact that an actor slash actress has appeared in another movie. It's weird. I've already solved this case. The victim died because he was stupid. This would be funny if it weren't for the fact that you're still insisting on the fact that nobody would hesitate to cut their eyeball out. And somehow he immediately looks to the ceiling after all that cryptic shit and after she looks to the left. You can hear someone slamming something made of metal in the background of that sin. I know sometimes I have background noise in my videos, but shut up. As smart as Jigsaw is, he somehow spelled Eric Matthews' name wrong. While hunting the Jigsaw killer, this precinct is also still looking for Travis Bickle, Igor, and old Pierce Brosnan. Jeremy literally just made some pop culture reference and then added a sin, as if that meant anything. The f***ing thing this guy f***ing thinks about is the f***ing steel company logo that was on the death mask. That's like tracking down the serial killer who uses pennies to murder people and saying, Aha! He's been giving us clues all along! To the Denver Mint! Well, at the time this takes place, nobody is working at the Wilson Steel Plant. It's possible that Eric put it together by assuming that he has to be there, considering that there's no other place that makes that metal besides that Wilson Steel Plant. Okay, going in teams of three. I'll go with Team Alpha. Thanks for the completely useless, seemingly exciting dialogue, strange SWAT dude we've never met and we'll never see again. Good luck with Team Alpha, whatever that means. Okay, two things. One, we do see this guy again because he's the protagonist of Saw 4, and he's a side character in this movie and Saw 3. And the other thing is, what do you think Team Alpha means? It means another team. What else would it mean? I never really considered it before, but yes. Yes, I think this is true. This movie has more stare action than Batman v Superman The Ultimate Edition. What does this have anything to do with something that is wrong with Saw 2? Is this close enough? Haha, -ha, I solved your clever steel company clue. <laughs> yes, that is what happened. Well done, Jeremy. Oh yes, there will be blood. Roll credit. Also, I drink your milkshake. You know that thing I said just now about Jeremy making meaningless pop culture references? Imagine if I said that again. Also, I'm pretty sure this is the dude the first movie said was the killer, which makes me both not trust him right now and assume some other unseen weirdo is the actual killer in this movie, but mostly whatever. I think that's what you're supposed to think, Jeremy. Also, what is the line of thinking here? They said this man was the killer in the last movie, therefore I don't trust him, which I don't think you're supposed to, he's the killer obviously, and therefore, the actual killer is someone else. Reach Daniel's phone, he's not in right now. Wow, he even changed Daniel's outgoing message. I gotta give it to Jigsaw, man, this guy pays attention to every detail, even ones that don't matter. Yeah, he doesn't want to take any chances, it's in character.
Movie rips off national treasure brick base clue payoff. Jeremy has been doing cinema sins for eight years and we still get sins where all it is is a meaningless pop culture reference that doesn't mean anything and isn't a problem with the film. Why is it still here? Everything you need to know is on this. False. You mean to say most of the things you know. But there's no way this tape recorder from the wall contains any information about this guy's brother f***ing his wife behind his back. Or about the bus that will not be able to slow down. Not only is everything they need to know on that tape, but this sin also includes another meaningless pop culture reference. Stop! Who is this? What does he mean, gas? Well, first off, he never said gas. He said nerve agent. But you were clever enough to solve the math on that one. And second off, are you f***ing kidding me? Nerve agent and gas are pretty much the same thing. Was that the trap for this door if you use the key? This required one dumbass to turn the key and another dumbass to look in the peephole for it to work. Unless Jigsaw was expecting the guy who turned the key to also be looking in the peephole, which is also not likely. This did not require someone to look through the peephole. It just requires somebody to be in front of the peephole. At least in an area where the gunshot would be able to hit them. The gunshot doesn't even have to hit anyone. It could literally just be a warning as to the fact that this house is full of traps. Because I've played before. Well, I immediately don't trust this chick and think she's in on it. Jeremy, I think you're literally just saying that because you already watched the movie and you're trying to make it look like you predicted the whole plot, when really you didn't. How in any way does this indicate that she works with Jigsaw? I want to team in here now. Find out where that feed is coming from. After seven minutes of watching the feed, this guy finally asks for a team to check where the feed is coming from. And where's that bomb squad he ordered seven minutes ago? The bomb squad is on their way here. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Dun dun dun. What? Door over here. Hey, I pushed on stuff and it worked out. I mean, if you found a door, it's guaranteed that torture clown asshole wanted you to find it, right? How do you not even suspect this at this point? They probably do know that, but they also know that there's an antidote for each and every one of them in the house because they have a poison in them. So whatever trap is in there, they have to go through it in order to survive. I don't know, but let's tear that possible clue up, because a shredded piece of paper beats an intact piece of paper any day. The piece of paper has one word on it, and it's a name. It's incredibly easy to remember. I understand everyone in this warehouse has the intelligence of a coked out guinea pig, but absolutely nobody seems to understand they're in a situation that requires slightly more thought than simply crawling headfirst into an incinerator. And these guys have a flashlight too. It's not like they couldn't scope this thing out first before diving in. They're desperate for an antidote. They don't think they have any time to think. Movie tries to make us feel sympathy for this apparent jigsaw killer guy by giving us the MTV supercut version of his Walter White cancer diagnosis. You're not supposed to feel sympathy for him. You're just given the information as to what happened. Did you remember that Gary Elway's character from Saw was named Dr. Lawrence Gordon? Because I did not. So how did I write this sin? I did not write this sin. Even if you forgot Lawrence's name, you can infer from the scene that he's the one who told John that he has cancer. Those who don't appreciate life do not deserve life. So basically, everyone but the double rainbow guy then? You have broken me. I don't think we should stop. Discount middle school Casey Affleck is right. You should keep moving. Jeremy, it's not that hard to find real criticisms of this film. Actually find some. How did this chick even think to check the couch wounds for shit? I told you earlier she's in on it, and this shit here is just more proof. Who does that? The actual reason is that she knows that it's there because she works for Jigsaw. But the reason we're supposed to think is that she's a survivor, so she would know that she should search these specific spots, like couch cushions, loose bricks, or anywhere else. Dude, the f did you just come in here out of breath looking like you've been stabbed or about to throw up? The poison is affecting them. That's why he looks like that. If it's stuck, it's a trap. Lady, this whole house is a trap! So, because she's stupid for saying something obvious, whatever's behind this door can't hurt me. Like I said earlier, they need to find antidotes. Every trap is activated by them, and they have a limited amount of time to get an antidote. That's what the traps are in this film. They need to be in the same room as the trap. Hilariously, in order to prepare for this scene, Donnie just recalled the new kids meeting with the label after they got dropped. Honestly, he's still pissed about that in real life, which is why he won't let Jenny McCarthy vaccinate her dogs. What? Ah! Also, for the record, he is literally destroying evidence because he's mad, under the watch of armed police guards who supposedly know the difference between right and wrong. They probably know that Eric is bluffing, or at least that's what they think he's doing. Honestly, a chest-bursting alien could leap out of this guy right now and I wouldn't bat an eye. That's how batshit crazy this movie's been so far, and how shamelessly it steals from other movies, including Saw. What? Just once, I want to sit down with Jeremy and ask him what his logic was when writing this. 
I know CinemaSins has a team of writers, but I'm starting to find that hard to believe. What movies has this film stolen from? I'm sure the true Jigsaw killer also planned for these two to go from conversation to knife fight in three seconds time. Jigsaw did not plan for this fight. He wanted everyone to work together so that they would all make it out alive. In fact, if they did everything exactly how Jigsaw told them to, they would have all made it out alive. Well, I don't know what's gonna happen next, but I feel confident labeling this a convenient seizure. How in any way is this seizure convenient? Also, thinking a game-playing motherfucker like this gives two shits about being beaten up. Come on, Donnie, didn't you see The Dark Knight three years from now? As far as Eric is concerned, he's already tried everything. This is the only option he deems that he has left. This is his most desperate moment. On a dying whim, this girl goes down the hall and into this room. And wouldn't you know it, Jigsaw has the perfect little death scenario planned and plotted out for. Voila! Because this asshole's f***ing god, apparently. Uh, this next sin contains spoilers for the entire Saw series except Saw 8, or Jigsaw as it's actually called. So, uh, just as a warning, skip to this time code if you don't like spoilers, and just watch it if you don't care. You know how every trap in this movie came with a note with a name on it, and that name is who the trap is for? Well, we see her hold that note, but we don't see whose name is on the note. So we don't know if this trap is meant for her or not. So Jeremy's claim that she somehow went into the exact room with the trap that's meant for her and died by the trap the way Jigsaw planned is supported by no evidence. I know in the commentary they say that the trap is meant for Gus, but I don't use the commentaries as sources for any of these films because... What happens to your character after uh, he crawls out of the bathroom? <laughs> what do you think? Do you have I an know. opinion? Tell us your take on it. What did Lawrence like, do? Look, I mean, look, let's face it, guys. He's severed a whole leg off. I mean, there's just, you know, the loss of blood alone, even with that pathetic tourniquet he's made with his shirt, <laughs> it's a wrap. He's not going to get two blocks. It's like that scene from Monty Python and the yeah. Holy Grail. Like, like, you were like, come here, I'll bite your leg off. It's just oh. a flesh wound. <laughs> it's just a flesh wound. <laughs> do you know that's sawn off? <laughs> come on! <laughs> Don't be a pussy. <laughs> Do you know that I went online, Kerry, and I yeah. found uh, some great Saw fan sites, and one of them had had a link to a site that was filled with all this Saw fan fiction, people who'd written stories no. about Saw. You're joking. And one of them was about, it was from your character's point of view after he'd crawled out of the bathroom. No way. It was about three pages of just this inner monologue going, oh God, my foot's missing. What do I do now? I'm bleeding and my foot's missing. And I'm bleeding. And to top it all off, my foot's gone. Yeah. It was great stuff. And I'm bleeding. And, uh, and plus I've ruined my best shit. Yeah, yeah. People on the message board think that's Dr. Gordon because he limps. And they oh. think that that's Dr. Gordon doing that. That's funny. Is man. that why you limped? Uh, no, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Were you trying to? I be was like... trying to bring a little flavor into the role, so I. Uh... Without you, my work over the last few years would not have been possible. Absolutely nobody saw that Eric and John got into an elevator until they were already going down on it. They didn't go into the elevator. They were already in the elevator. Come on! Secure the warehouse now! Wait, all this time you never secured the warehouse you're in? F***ing what? Or is this just some lazy copy-paste screenwriting going on here? I'm indicting every single one of these motherfucking cops on charges of aggressive incompetence for not checking the very goddamn building they've been standing in the whole motherfucking time. Goddamn, this pisses me off. As far as they knew, Jigsaw was the only person in the entire warehouse. They didn't have to secure it because he's in a wheelchair and in handcuffs. You're gonna need this key when you get inside the house. Eric suddenly trusts Jigsaw. I guess because he thinks his beating 100% worked on that psychopath. Eric is desperate to find his son. Also, all John is doing is handing him a key. What do you think would happen? You still don't know your own number. How are you gonna get it if I don't die? It's really too bad this group of criminals and strangers couldn't work together in the two hours Jigsaw gave them. He was trying to teach teamwork, dammit. That's the point. This person put a horse mask on and... Horse mask? Horse mask? That's a pig mask. Myself a father. A leader. A teacher. 
More surprises! Amanda was working for Jigsaw all along. But first, let's put her in a room full of criminals. One who's a murderer. Also, I guess she can be a surprise reveal later. I mean, I guess she was supposed to help Daniel stay alive during all that. But that's another plan that could have backfired. What's the movie if Daniel dies? What is Jigsaw's point if he ended up getting killed? Jigsaw probably knew that none of these people are willing to murder a child. Also, there is no serial killer among them. Unless you're referring to Xavier, but he's not a serial killer. He's a drug dealer. It is I who will carry on John's work after he dies. For one movie. How is that a problem with this movie? Game over. Wait a minute, why? Isn't the SWAT team running around in this building right now? Isn't the van with Jigsaw in the passenger seat still parked outside somewhere? They're just never gonna find this place. I am befuddled. Are we sure CinemaSins has a team of writers? Because if they did, they had to have noticed that this was wrong, unless it's an intentional error. For those who haven't seen the film, Eric and Amanda are not at the same house as the SWAT team. The SWAT team are at a house that looks similar to the real house, while Eric and Amanda are at the real house. We can tell this by the fact that the door at the nerve gas house has the big hole in it from when Xavier busted it open, while the house that the SWAT team are at doesn't. We can also tell it by the fact that Rig literally says this. Terry, we're in the wrong fucking house. I'm honestly debating if this is either ignorance or just faulty evidence to support Jeremy's opinion. 